Hello Crypto Cats, my name is Tom and I'm a crypto investor and it's time for us to take a look at the markets because Bitcoin is breaking out. Look what we have here. So we were in this wedge pattern and we were making a series of lower highs, which is a bearish formation. We were finding support at 30,000. And I said in my video on Sunday that it was likely that we would find a end of this continuation pattern shortly. It looks like that's the case. And I want to explain why I think this breakout here is different to this failed breakout here. So I was watching the charts when we broke out here. And this was triggered by Elon Musk tweeting, saying that Tesla would start accepting Bitcoin for payments of Teslas, so long as 50% of Bitcoin was mined from renewable sources. And what's interesting was that that move happened immediately on that tweet, and that is because there are thousands of bots which are basically programmed to buy on the mention of cryptocurrencies by Elon Musk. If he mentioned Doge, Bitcoin, whatever it may be, the bots buy. And there's very simple coding to do this. And and so we got this basically this algo move. And then once we broke here, of course, that then creates further buying because stop losses are um, sold here and they are liquidated and people also just buy the momentum. Now, this then eventually failed, I think, as people kind of worked out perhaps that that was not as significant as, as one would have liked. And we retested, which is crucial, we retested this um, resistance line turn support and it failed. We retested again, failed. And that's when we got the big sell off. We've since come back, we failed to break. And now this time we have broken. And what is nice about this move is it's somewhat organic. It doesn't seem that it's happened on any particular news catalyst. It just is. And it's just a case of big whales effectively buying retail, starting to get their feet wet again. And most importantly, less selling. You know, I think that the China selling, which has caused this big old drop, is done for. And so, you know, confidence is returning to the market. Things are looking a lot better. We are not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination, but we have just taken a battle line and we are looking healthier. So in a traditional market, when you're making a trade, effectively, what you would do for a high probability trade would be to wait for a retest and a resumption up. So, you know, you would probably be looking for something like this. You would, this would just load. Um, you would be looking for, come on, bear with me. My computer slows down when I am recording my screen. It's not professional, isn't it? But if you're still with me and you do like my content, please do give me a like and subscribe. that would be most appreciated. So I think, you know, what you'd normally expect to get is something like this. We'll find some resistance coming in at that clone trend line I have. We'll come back down and we'll test this critical resistance as support and then resume up. And it's upon that resumption up, that confirmed support there, that, you know, that's a very high probability trade for those who are... Um, so inclined to be buying this with like leverage you crazy cats you know that is way too spicy even for me but there we go um, so you know that would be the key place to buy however the thing with crypto is that it has this kind of nuance unlike typical markets fx and um, and equities it tends to often break out you know just in these parabolic moves particularly in a, a bull market so you can't count on this but if we do get that load up because that's a really nice sign after we've cleared this line, the next big, big line in the sand is here coming in at 43,000. That is a massive line for us to try and take out. And once we get above here, then we have this final boss, this big old trend line here, which is the series of um, lower peaks that we made um, before we broke down. So once we get above here, even though we won't be at all time highs, I would consider that basically blue sky and full steam ahead for Bitcoin. And the reason, of course, I'm talking about Bitcoin is that it is still the one that leads them all. Bitcoin has 46% dominance of the total crypto space. So, you know, when it sneezes, we all catch a cough and we have to use it as that leading indicator. When the markets are going up, Bitcoin will tend to lag behind the likes of Ethereum and the altcoins. When the markets are going down, Bitcoin tends to be the stronger, the safe haven as you will so you know this is this is where we're at we haven't got full repair but we're looking good we have this grassroots recovery and i am 
just starting to feel a bit optimistic here that we have seen the bottom in and that the recovery is now beginning. All right, so just quickly, whilst we're here, let's look at, um, let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, much the same. We found support coming in where, this is Ethereum Bitcoin, come on, come on. We found support coming in at this kind of quite shaky support line here at 1730. It's where we found support initially on that big drop and tested it again. It has held since we have, we've broken back above 2000, which is the first critical repair. We have to break above this trend line I have here and also this support line term resistance coming at 2300. Overall, I've been building a position in spot Ethereum throughout this whole time since we got down here. I've been buying, 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 buying. I still see this as a great buying opportunity here. So, you know, long term, I have some outrageous price targets in our lifetime for Ethereum that I'll share with you another time. But, um, but you know, overall, I think this is an excellent opportunity to be building up your position in Ethereum. Um, particularly now it is being burnt with EIP1559 coming into play. It is now becoming a deflationary asset. So yeah, looking really good. And versus Bitcoin, we have regained this resistance here at 0 0.06. We're just testing it there. I'm expecting us to come back up. Um, I, I do think we'll take out 50% over the next three to four months or so. And uh, this could start to get really exciting for Ethereum in the second half of this year. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you found it useful. Um, please do like, subscribe, share with your mates. And reminder that this is not financial advice. I'm just some guy on the internet trying to help you out. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day. Speak to you soon.